Mmm, tasty bagels, the quintessential New York delicacy, aren't they? Not quite. The bagel originated in Poland, Krakow to be precise. We'll tell you all about how the popular bread ring came to be. Some are offered for sale right here. Or wait, that's not a real bagel, is it? To są tradycyjne obwarzanki krakowskie. Sól i mak. Obwarzanki. And what are those exactly? We can say that obwarzanek is the oldest, uh, older uh, cousin of bagel. Marta Kosiczek Siudak founded Living Obwarzanek Museum in Krakow. The oldest uh, proofs that Ogwarzanki were uh, present in Krakow are from 1394, so it's more than 600 years. All people in Krakow, we eat Ogwarzanki for breakfast, we eat them on the way to work, to school. Uh, so this is like a very common street food here. They differ from bagels mainly in that Ogwarzanki are twisted together from two strands of dough. But just as with bagels, the rings of raw dough are parboiled a little before they're baked. That makes them crispier. But what's their connection to bagels? In Cafe Blossom, we find out. Some say it serves the best bagels in town. Claudia van Troba bakes 40 to 50 bagels a day. They're made of yeasted dough and sprinkled with a seed mix. We wanted to connect to the tradition żeby nasze bajgierki również do, były również szybko zrobione, a smaczne. E, więc zaczęliśmy wymyślać swoją recepturę na to, żeby były sprawniejsze w robieniu, fajnie się wypiekały i fajnie rosły. Unlike the obwarzanek, the bagel is a traditionally Jewish roll and of more recent origin. We head over to Krakow's trendy Kazimierz district, the center of Jewish life in Krakow. Jonathan Ornstein got Krakow's Jewish Community Center up and running. He came here from New York City, now seen as the bagel capital. Which does he prefer, the original or the U.S. version? I did just get back from New York City, so and I even brought bagels back with me from New York City, as, as I do. So I'm going to taste this bagel. Yeah, it looks reasonably bagel-y. Pretty good. Not bad. For Krakow, not bad. A little different than what I would call a New York bagel, but considering what you can get, not a bad version. The first written mention of bagels was in Edicts of Krakow's Jewish Community in 1610. So the bagel's not really, a, you know, a, like part of the religious practice of Jews. It's just culturally, that's the thing. Like on a Sunday morning, you, like the most traditional thing, you have like this breakfast or brunch, you have bagels with lox, so bagels with salmon, bagels with cream cheese is like very, very, very Jewish. Eastern European Jewish immigrants brought the bagel to North America in the late 19th century. To the bakers at Krakow's Cafe Blossom, it's more than just a bread roll. Myślę, że tak, że jest to super tradycja, którą trzeba kontynuować. Nawiązuje do naszego starego miasta. Nawiązuje również do tego, że gdzieś tam cały czas wspominamy nasz słynny Kraków z legendy, z historii. Now, is everyone hungry for a really good bagel? Then the place to go is Krakow. That's where to find the original.